Welcome back to El Tab Horror. Today we're playing the elevator game with Cat Girl. Like and subscribe and stuff or whatever, and let's go. Check it out. <laughs> Alright, elevator's gone. Carefully, I take a step outside of the elevator, daring to put myself into the weird and lurid la landscape. Then the elevator door slides shut behind me, startling me. I turn around to see them looking just like they always do. Pretty and nondescript dark metal with a few scrapes and scratches. Almost reassuringly normal right now. On a whim, I press the button to open the doors again. And that doesn't sound good. The doors don't move either. So I think I have two options. One, I can panic because I don't seem to be able to go back right now. Or two, I can move forward and explore. Wherever on Earth, or off Earth I am. The place I've been trying to get to since I got here. Yeah, let's explore. No turning back now, Asai. No turning back. Alright, let's... Go. Oh. Just a hallway, it's fine. As I advance, more details catch my attention. The opposite wall at the very end of the corridor seems to be missing. The whole corridor also seems to be stacked with some strange dark boxes. Some have odd shapes. Something about their texture perplexes me. It almost looks like those kinds of materials that eat up all the light around them and don't reflect anything back. That's like what was covering up the windows! What if touching one of them will eat me all up too? I have to be careful. I'd rather not touch anything around here if I don't have to. Aw oh, man, I thought it was gonna let me touch it. Let's keep going. The further I go, the weirder things get. The corridor eventually ends, but the floor keeps extending further past the stairs in the form of a lowered landing. Oh, I looked back. Okay. It's like, it's the same thing! I turn around to look back at the corridor I just traversed, taking in the view. I definitely don't want to lose my way around this place, so I need to keep track of my surroundings. Thankfully, it seems pretty straightforward. So far. Door. Yeah. Well, I've made it all the way here. I'm not gonna go back until I find Kieran. Or until I'm convinced she's not here. Alright, let's go. And then these are all white. I feel like this isn't getting any closer. I'm not sure what I expected, but... It's really beautiful. This is really the other world, isn't it? I can't believe this whole crazy game actually worked. So this place actually exists. Or maybe I just don't want to. I can't really argue that it does. Just what is this place? I don't know, but let's keep going. What is that? Go, 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 go. As I keep going further, my fears get confirmed. The floor cuts off abruptly, resulting in a dead end. There's a path that continues on the other side, but there's no visible way for me to get there. And even if becoming part kitty has improved my ability to jump and land gracefully, I don't think even an Olympic jumper with a hang glider could make that distance. So what do I do? No Kieran anywhere so far either. I somehow managed to end up in different places in the other world? Or even in different other worlds after all of this? Does this mean I have to go and try to go back somehow? Puzzle out the broken elevator? Wait. Ooh, a note! A note! That definitely wasn't there before. There's just no way I, I'd have missed it. Will Asahi come and help me this time, too? Did she come to my rescue just like she did these past few months? You don't deserve to be loved by someone like You don't deserve to be loved. Okay, so the red is Kieran. That's so sad. What is all of this? Asahi? Oh. Kieran? Okay, so we found her. She definitely wasn't there a second ago either. Uh, how? Are you? Is that really you? I Only think so. You're really you. Hmm. No. Why are you on the other side? That's my line. How did you get there? Through the elevator, of course. Why? Did you use a different one? 
Uh, unless you somehow magically changed buildings, I used the same elevator you did. Somehow magically? You're in this other world and you're like, magic can't happen, right? Uh, I hate this place so much! Well, don't just stand there. Go find a ladder or something. A ladder? Are you, are you crazy? How else are we supposed to get out of here? All right, I'm gonna go find a ladder. Karen has a point though. There's no way either of us could possibly make this jump. We might be more flexible as cat girls now, but that's still too much of a stretch even for us. We jump and fall to our doom for sure. Did some kind of rope help us? Is there even a rope to be found around here? Probably not. So you came. Huh? Sapporo? Oh. Is that you? So there's one more person in here, because of the crossword puzzle. Because that's Sapporo, Kieran, and Asahi. And then I need Ra Raki? Raki. What are you Raki? doing here? Waiting for your arrival. What? You bitch! This is all your fault! Listen. This music's getting intense and I love it. Asahi, you need to find the camera. Oh no, you don't. Don't listen to her, Asahi! That's the only way to save us. What are you talking about? Did she just kill her? Did she just kill her? She moves so fast I can barely even blink. And since I'm so far away, I can only watch in utter horror as... as Kieran takes a step towards Sapporo and shoves her from the landing thereon, making her fall. Sapporo disappears into the cloudy layer of white below. It's as though she was never there. I can't see anything of her, and I can't hear anything either. I stare dumbfounded, trying to wrap my mind about what transpired before my very eyes before... So you're just gonna... you just kill people now? Before my gaze wanders back to Kieran, she's staring right back at me, and she looks agitated, angry. Not a hint of remorse in her. Kieran? What? You do something like that. She was trying to get in between us, can't you tell? How naive can you be? Open your eyes, Asahi. Face reality. Wake up already. I don't think this is a reality Face world. Face reality. Wake up already. Uh. Okay. It was a dream? What the hell was... Blank space, blank space, guitar, games. Huh. Why am I suddenly back in my room? And Karen, what the hell? Why did you do that? We have some sadistic tendencies, but that... And that was going way too far. She actually... What is... What are these? The... Pictures of cars and dancing. I quickly reach for my phone, intending to text Sapporo when I notice a bunch of texts from Kieran instead. Hey, we still going? I'm at your window, come on! At my window? Oh, right, we agreed to go to that building tonight. I must have fallen asleep. Wait. Is it that I dreamed about again? It feels like it was something important, but the details suddenly elude me. When I meet up with Karen and tell her I had a bad dream and that we shouldn't go play this stupid game, she only laughs at me. You're such a scaredy cat, Asahi. Figures. Welcome to the other world. Ooh! It's a cold winter night. Oh my gosh. Ta-da! We're here! I knew we were in the other world! Amazing. Amazing. And there's gonna be a red cross at the top? Nope. Okay, never mind. Okay, so this... We've already seen this. I don't totally want to skip it, just in case... I think this is all the same. Oh, 
Okay, so yeah. Finally! I thought you were starting to give me the silent treatment again. Yeah, this is all the same. I swear, Kieran, of all the oh. Yeah, we've we've, we've seen all of this. And being less than 10 miles away from our homes. Uh skip. Okay, okay, okay. Skip, skip, skip. Uh oh, let's get cocoa this time. I'm usually more of a coffee person, but I'm in the mood for something sweet. My mind will most likely appreciate the sugar rush right now, too. It definitely doesn't have anything to do with the fact that this is Kieran's favorite drink. Cute. Any numbers? Fua fua! Chaco chaco. Yeah, it's about time I acknowledge the fact that I've started to consume more sweet stuff because of her. Even though she says I'm sweet enough as I am. Only when there's a clunk of coins in the change slot that I realize the cocoa is a bit cheaper than the coffee. Meaning that I'll be able to get a can for Kieran when she comes out, too. That's a nice surprise. As I work on opening the bottle, I realize how warm and heavenly it feels in my feet. This is all the same. It's all the same. Uh, so... <clears throat> this is not the same. Hello, sir! Confused, I look to the side, only to notice a stranger standing right next to me. What is he doing here, and why is he staring at me like that? Because he wants to use the vending machine. Would you mind telling me what time it is? Uh... I try to remember what time it was the last time I checked my phone and came out blank. How long could it have taken me to get my drink? The vague idea that this guy might be asking me this just to steal my phone passes my mind, but I try not to panic. Maybe he was just genuinely do maybe he just genuinely doesn't know. Maybe he forgot to take his own phone with him or something? I take a careful look at the screen. It's, uh... 123. 3 a.m.? Hmm. That's a lot faster than last time. Ah, perfect. It's such an easy number to remember, isn't One, two, it? 123. Okay. Uh, okay. Ex ex remember that number. 123. 123. Though you might want to add a 4 to that. 234. Okay. What? Oh, and what? two more things. First of all, you dropped this. Uh, uh, okay. Hang on. Hang on. One, two, three, four, and then he says two more things, so two, and he says, first of all, he doesn't, maybe, 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 first of all, you drop this, and a place where time is an illusion, the impossible starts being possible. <laughs> there are places in the other world where electronics do work. It's the last piece of the puzzle I need. What? I okay. drop this, but it's not... And second, take this. Okay. Uh, so do I go back to two then? Ooh, a key! Why are you giving me this? Eh, it might come in handy to you, if you ever end up being lucky. Uh, lucky? Have a good evening. Good evening. Yes, I love the way you said that. Good evening. I, ooh. I have you. Uh, my brain must have short-circuited for a moment, because when I finally bring myself to react, I notice that the person is already gone. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go the order that it said. How many numbers? Let me, let me see. One, one, four, five, six, seven. And then it goes... Four, two, six, two, ten, five. And one, so seven. Okay, so, oh, seven again. Okay, so I think all of our numbers are gonna be sevens. Like seven sets of numbers, maybe, I don't know. Where did he go? He was literally just standing right next to me a second ago. What the hell was that even all about? And I knew coming here was a bad idea. Can I shake off the weird feeling that I know that guy from somewhere? Kieran. Everything suddenly comes back to me, everything suddenly dawns on me, I run to the building entrance without a second thought. It's gonna be the same. I'm gonna skip all the stuff that I've seen. Okay, cool. Kieran! I yell at the top of my lungs, but I already know it's futile. We're still in the clutches of this game. We've been in the clutches of this game since long before this day ever started. How long has it been since Kieran actually disappeared? 
I even find her just now? What did that guy say again? One, two, three, four. Uh, let's see. Sapporo, Kirin, Asahi, Rocky. I bet you that guy's name was Rocky. Mm hmm. New. All right, let's go. I, I need to figure this one out. Oh, oh, I should try this one as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I assume start on, on one, right? One, yeah. Wait. 20. Let, let me go put that in the phone. Uh, how do I? Oh, but I don't have a coin. Yep. Dang it. Okay. All right, I have to find the coin first. All right, all right. Hmm. Thing in here. Radio work yet? No. Did I take anything? Oh, I bet you the coin's in here. No. Uh, oh, I got a key, I got a key. Door's locked. Door's locked. Okay, but how do I use key? Oh, that's cool. Okay. I need clubs now. All right, so I guess the key doesn't... I only need like a, a star key of some sort. Hmm. All right, nothing new. So let's... Just a little guy. Cute pink. Or maybe the fact that it's just a possum. I don't think it's actually the one from Scarlet Hollow, but that would be cool. Cat found. Cute pink bow. Female, no collar. Looks friendly, but bites. Found an elevator. If she is yours, please call 19. That is Kieran's ribbon. Okay. Please call 19. Is this supposed to be some kind of riddle? Or maybe it's just one and nine. Okay, well, I can't call anything just yet. Can't call anything yet because I don't have the coin. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, so one. What was it? One, two, three, four, two, one, two. So one, two. And then three. Everything normal. Oh, right, I can skip things. Uh, three, four. That's really And new! Well, there's definitely something odd about this floor. What exactly, though, I don't know yet. I need to go in and investigate. I got here only because of that shady looking guy. Really trust him? This is some kind of trap. I mean, I gotta go check it out, right? What is this stuff? Like bioluminescent. As I reach the other end of the corridor, it becomes very clear why something looked odd from further away. Flooring is literally falling apart, leading into a section that's submerged in water. Water itself is muddy, and I can't tell how deep it goes. Too bad there doesn't seem to be any loose rocks lying around here. I could throw one in for it to give me at least some kind of idea. How does it make sense for water to be present like this on the fourth floor anyway? The floor is falling apart, wouldn't the water escape somewhere? Like pour down through the third floor or a leak outside? Isn't the other world thing supposed to at what words? Is the other world thing at work here? Making seemingly impossible things somehow possible? The idea seems absurd, but perhaps my early attempt at the elevator game influenced something in this building. Perhaps Kieran is playing in those couple of days. Perhaps Kieran playing it those couple of days ago influenced things here in weird ways as well. It's what I tell myself at least as I'm faced with the issue before me. The water seems scary. What if there are piranhas in it? 
Kieran was here with me, she'd probably say, Don't think about piranhas, Asahi. Imagine there's salmon in it instead. Salmon? What? A cat girl can daydream. Uh. I go in it? I go in it? Trying to fight off a shiver, I put one of my legs carefully into the water. Water is cold and my boot gets flooded almost immediately. I hate the feeling of my feet squelching around in cold water. Especially when I know that when I leave the building, I'm going to be trudging through freezing snow. Why did I do this again? To my relief, there's secure footing fairly close to the surface. I fight off the urge to get out and run for dear life as they take another step in. My foot lands a bit deeper this time around. No. Don't tell me the water gets deeper and deeper and I'm doomed to swim my way across. There are definitely piranhas in here. More octopuses. I'm not sure what's worse. Ooh, so cool. Taking another cautious step, I realize the depth seems to have stayed the same. Does this mean the water level won't go past my thighs? If so, traversing is still going to be a pain. That's definitely a better alternative to swimming. Maybe I'll be able to keep a shred of my sanity after all. I mean, just imagining all that water getting into places. Ugh. I have no idea if it's become it's if it's because of my transformation, but I've definitely noticed I'm not fond of water the way I used to be back in the day. Sort of makes sense though, doesn't it? I'll have to be careful not to get my tail wet. Drying it is always such a pain. I could catch a cold easily. Hopefully this floor doesn't extend to oblivion. Let's keep going. I don't know what this is, but it looks pretty, all things considered. And it's a source of light in this place? Once I'm back home, I'll have to do some research on glow-in-the-dark mushrooms. Go on, let's keep going. As I make my way further, step by step through the ice-cold water, I came across a fork in the road. Well, a split in the corridor, but somehow a fork in the road sounds more right. Doesn't look like the left side really leads anywhere, though. It's just a dead end with some more of those glowing mushrooms. As for the right side... This corridor extends further and I can see something in the distance. Seems like that's where I'll be heading next, then. Huh? Wait. What was that? Oh, give me that! It's then that I see it. Something's moving in the water right next to me. But instead of getting- instead of getting scared by it, I can feel my kitty instincts suddenly kick in. Before I have a chance to even think about what I'm doing, I launch myself at the thing, snatching it out of the water with a swift jerk of my hand. Oh, a fish. The mackerel? What? I'm eating just a raw fish? One of the things I hate about having become the way I am right now, I fall prey to my kitty instincts sometimes. They can be weird and confusing more than half of the time. Mackerel tastes pretty good though. Not something I'd have ever said as a human, biting down on a raw fish taken right out of the water. In the meantime, the hunted meal is gone completely. The satisfaction I feel after having com having accomplished such a feat is short-lived, however. Not long after swallowing my last bite, I can tell that something's starting to feel... Something's starting to feel very, very off. You don't just eat a random fish! Oh, I'm back here? No, I wanted to keep going. Meow. Meow. I'm a cat. Meow. 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 Uh. Adorable, first off. But also, what? <laughs> what? Meow. 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 Of course Meow. it's me, silly. Meow. Who else did you expect? Sapporo? Eating that mackerel was a mistake. Meow. Come on, we're gonna be late. <gasps> oh, it's just a dream. I'm... Nope, 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 nope. There's no mackerel anywhere, Asahi. Nor the mackerel. Alright, yeah, walking. just keep walking, just keep just walking. Just keep walking. Go, go, go. Oh. Are we gonna go into Rocky's room? Ooh, 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 Okay, let's... Look at this. I can barely see the corridor up ahead. This place is starting to get dark. Okay, let's check out this then. Wait, oh, what's that? <gasps> the camera! Oh, is that the... Didn't Sapporo say something about a camera? 
before Kieran totally killed her. What kind of conspiracy am I being a part of here? What else is in here? As I make my way into the strange landing, I come across something I don't really expect to see. Behind the sliding door, there's a cozy looking Japanese style room, and it's situated in such a way that the water doesn't reach it. I'm not about to ask stupid questions about why, when this means I can get out of the cold water, even for a little bit. All right, broken mirror. Got a camera. Being a beeline around the table, I quickly move to the other side of the room. I don't want to stand right in front of the camera, just facing the entrance. Call me superstitious, but I've heard too many tales of cameras sealing people's souls. I'd rather avoid having mine being snatched by surprise. For what I experienced around this building so far, I don't trust this place to be very logical in any way either. It's always better to be safe than sorry. All right, let's look around. Hmm, I check the drawers one by one, but they all seem to be locked. For these, some VCR cassette tapes. One seems to have a movie label on it. I don't see anything unusual among them besides that. Mm, except for numbers. 72. DBZ, oh, amazing. Can't actually read any of those, it's too far. Oh, what does that one say? Oh, damn, it's a VCR. This thing must be ancient. My aunt used to show me cartoons recorded on this type of thing when I was just a baby. Good times. Oh. What was that picture that I missed? Cat. And girl. Cat boy. Girl. Cute girl. Cat boy. Cat. Cat boy. Wonder... Okay, I think those are the only ones that I can get. All right, all right, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Mirror. It's a broken mirror. And it's so dirty or distorted that I can't even see my own reflection in it. Oh, well, maybe that's currently for the better. Hey, hey, cook. What was that? Hey, cool. Maybe that? It's a photo of someone. I have no idea who. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's check it. Oh, voodoo doll Kieran. It's a doll? Would something like this even be here? Take it! It's not gonna change position the moment I look away, right? Probably not. No, it doesn't, okay. Uh, let's check uh, this box, empty boxes. Anything up top? No. All right. Let's check over here. After traversing all of that cold water, the idea of hiding my feet under a kotatsu to warm up sounds lovely right now. But should I really do that? I don't know what's under it, and I wasn't even thinking of that. What if there's some ghost on the table just waiting to drag me under the covers? It's a kotatsu, but I don't know. And somehow, dang it, dang it, I really want to look. All right, let's go take the camera. Oh, it's cute and pink. So any photos I should get printed? So what photos I take should get printed out almost instantly. Should I try using it? How the heck do people take selfies with me? There's no screen to see yourself in. Oh, uh, hi y'all, Neko. Oh wait, there's something taped to the underside of the camera. <gasps> the crosses in this place seem to be crucial. It's like there's some sort of breadcrumbs. I can't work out how. I feel like I'm missing something. What secrets do they hold? How am I supposed to make sense of them? Process? Like the one on the wall in the lobby? I missed that one. I don't remember there being a cross in the lobby. All right, nothing else. Took the camera, that's what I was supposed to do, so I guess leave. Room doesn't seem to lead anywhere else. Does this mean I'm going to have to head back into the water? Your idea is me shiver. But I suppose if there's no other choice, there's no other choice. It's not like I want to stay here forever, either. I think I got everything. Unless... Yeah, okay. So I already checked all that. Yeah, yeah, I think I checked everything. Oops. I'll leave the room. Okay, I guess it's time to stop postponing the inevitable. Oh, cool, now it's blood. Now it's blood. 
It's blood. Let's go into the blood. The water red all of a sudden. That's yeah. not blood, is it? I swear, the things this place makes me do. It's blood. Girl, it's blood. This is even more unpleasant than the first time. Me being cold aside now that the water's gotten like this. It's blood. It's, it's blood, girl. It's Wait, what the hell? Well, I'm pretty sure it wasn't here before. This is the way I came from. I'm positive. Does this mean my way back got sealed off somehow? <laughs> well, time to go forward. <sighs> Come on, you can do this. No use in getting cold feet now. Huh, <laughs> get it? Cold feet? Ugh, I'm already losing my mind. Egg girls and water definitely don't mix well together. Well, there's one good change in all of this, at least. Order got illuminated somehow. Alright, let's go, let's go. Yeah, let's trudge through the blood river. There's another X. Don't play with my heart like this. It's a dead end too. There's an X mark right here on the wall, and it's similar to the one I saw in the lobby, just bigger. It's one of the Oh! Cross is the note attached to the camera mentioned? This is a crazy idea, but here goes nothing. Let's take that camera for a spin. Taking a picture of the cross? What? Cool, cool, cool. Interesting. I took a photo of the cross and the wall before me disappeared. I didn't even blink. What kind of witchcraft is this? Is this some camera some kind of magical camera that can bend this reality? It's just getting crazier and crazier. But does this mean I've solved the riddle of the crosses? This why Sapporo wanted me to find it. I'd be able to somehow save Karen with the help of this thing. I don't know, man. Let's go back to the the pretty mushrooms. And box. I got a chest. <gasps> it's a mimic. Be careful. Oh, I can't. Wait. And the place around here is creepy as hell. What are those pillars in the distance? Was this some kind of garage that got flooded or something? Yep, that probably, yep. Oh, another note! I get closer to the chest, seeing it as, seeing as it's the only viable point of interest right now, before me in this bizarre room. And of course, the moment I do, I spot a red note at the very bottom of it. It's almost like a carrot or a fish on a stick that's dangling before my face and luring me right into some kind of trap. One I really don't want to fall into. It's gonna be fine, though. It's what I tell myself as I reach into the open slit. The chest is pretty big, but the note isn't that far out of reach. Getting into the chest itself won't be necessary. And so I lean in, further and further, confident that my arm length will be enough to reach the piece of paper. The next thing I know, there's a violent shove to my back and the world suddenly spins before my eyes. The note quickly becomes the least of my eyes. I stumble inside the box helplessly, shocked out of my wits. Pretty sure there wasn't anyone behind me. There couldn't have been. I would have heard someone approaching me. The sound of the box lid closing above me puts me in a panic mode even further. I try to twist myself back into an upward direction, but the place is so cramped I can barely move my limbs. Absolute terror floods my senses as I realize what happens next. The box is starting to fill with water. I can feel the coldness rising at an alarming rate, and I know what's going to happen if I don't get out of this thing fast. <laughs> I press all of my weight upwards, against the lid, attempting to get the box open. I try kicking, scratching, screaming, but all of it is to no avail. Okay. Deep breath. It's gotta be some sort of trick. The water's going to stop coming in, and someone's going to laugh at me for being a scaredy cat. Before I know it, the water reaches my chin, my mouth, my nose, my Please, forehead. Whatever I did wrong, I'm sorry. Just let me out! dark. It's cold. I'm trapped and I'm terrified. I'm going to drown. It's only so long in my It's the most horrible of feelings. It'll be a moment when I reach my limit and I can't help but desperately take another breath. I need to have water flood my life. There has to be something I can do, some way I can get out of this. 
Supposedly when you drown, you can still end up being conscious throughout the process long minutes after you stop finding strength to universe is truly cruel, giving you a couple of additional moments of terror. Almost as if it wanted for you to know. Let it really sink in. But yes, you are about to die, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. At this point, losing consciousness, it's like a release. I... Oh, nice. And it restarts all over again. Okay. Dream. Uh, 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 uh. Two other things in my lap. One of them is the camera. The other is the red note. Ooh, what does it say? April 23rd. 4, 2, 3. So that's 10 days. Okay, I'm gonna... Uh, April... Uh, 13th. And, oh god, what am I doing? And April 23rd. Okay. One of the kittens almost drowned in the toilet today. I showed mercy and stopped holding her head under the water, though. Oh. What? Hmm. What on earth does that mean? Is that from back when... What does any of this mean? Don't know. Submerged. Okay. Back. No, I haven't learned my lesson yet. And so I find myself standing in that cursed building again. But this time, I'm armed with a camera. Oh, all right. All right, I've been recording for like two hours. This game is so cool. This game is awesome. This is so interesting. I'm so thankful the developers were kind enough to give me a free Steam code for this game because I'm fully, I am fully entranced by this game. I want to learn all the secrets. I need to dive into this. <gasps> I feel like there's so many ways to find secrets in this too. So I just I want to I want to go all the way in. I want to I want to see everything that I can with this game. But for now, I'm going to leave it cuz I it's late. I got to take care of my cat. <laughs> but I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe or whatever, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.